most successful play is just Riz holding on to the ball and hoping the other team doesn't notice. So that if someone passes into their end zone, technically the ball's in possession of one of the Owlbears players and you win the game. Great. Super cheesy way to win. Bloke mode I get Kristen is, is a shit faced at your game. Yeah. <laughs> I know Squanda's busy, so I disguise myself as her to cheer in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wrong? It's um, fake. It's fake. What? It's fake. Why would you don't son! tell her anything weird? Yeah. Don't tell her anything my weird. Son! I don't know. This sounds like my mom. <laughs> There's, as you're working on it, you come back to that broken engine in Fabian's basement, that Cloud Rider engine, which is another thing that you know the Rat Grinders did or were involved in or did on purpose. And I think there's a part of you that's sort of like, have we ever seen that resolve? Did we ever see yeah. why that happened? None. So you go over to hang out at Fabian's place. Gorga. Hey, dude. You want some fried rice? Uh, how is it? <laughs> I got, my, got, my, got kind of a range. and go anywhere from 10 days to three. I guess three. All right, <laughs> all right. Um, this is time for another lo-fi study session, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're just kind of working on stuff here. I just... Yeah, do you want to do fried Chill rice? Chill beats to study to fried rice. I take my rice baked. Well, uh, there's a long and proud tradition here in Spire of, uh, Vessels such as these that are nautical in nature, aspiring to take to the skies alongside the great blimps and dirigibles of my people, aviators. And so certain arcanotech engines are constructed in order that they might be able to join us in a real man's ocean, the sky. I'm gonna go down to hell and write a song called Righteous Rebel, Oof. which is sort of like a mythological Led Zeppelin type song mm. about an avenging angel mm. who is loyal to her followers to a fault and lets her compass become a weather vane. Mm. Okay. That's a 37. <laughs> <laughs> a fig, a giant burning body of a woman stretching from one horizon to the other as fields and vast oceans of skin and sinew burn in red flame beneath an endless astral indigo. I'm gonna cast the pal paladin spell ceremony and do atonement. You touch this paladin's Tears of solar fire at a devoted paladin who cannot burn no matter how hot the flame. She goes, why can you not burn? Because my girlfriend is a phoenix <coughs> and sexually it would be a complication. To world-changing, epic masterpieces Middle of rock. Middle-aged men are writing about your lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Singing like, I really loved what she did. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need an accomplice, though, to shoot yeah. me with a to shoot me with a crossbow. Yeah, I can. Okay. British Kristen will do that. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. do, you, do you want to borrow my hand you crossbow? You show me how. <laughs> Mate, you need to understand. I did not Mate. program that into her. Mate. That was not me. You're so strong. <laughs> so. Uh, to Ruben's house. Cool. You. And then you guys know that the, the trigger is Kimberly. Okay. Your disguise is Wanda. Throw rocks. Uh, as... I act really cold. <laughs> She's small. small as fuck, me. <laughs> create water over her so it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> uh, incredible. Um, you create water over her, and as she begins to... Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, my God. She, it's coming down, ain't it? Uh, uh, <laughs> the window opens, but you don't see anybody. Ruben, if you're in there, I just... <sighs> I'm sick of lying to myself. I really... <laughs> Kipper Lily? Okay, shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the help action. Okay, great. Uh, are you proficient with crossbow? No, uh, well, maybe. 
Wait, are we going <laughs> to do all this and then you're going to miss? As I get hit by it, I cast Feign Death on myself and then fall backwards with my, um, with my foam hoodie um, <laughs> opening to reveal one of those death sigils on myself. And I'm dead. And you're dead. I'm crying watching this happen. It's so beautiful. Oh, Jesus Give Christ, her. what did you do, Kristen? Give mm, her what her you life. say. What? <laughs> 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 Why would you uh, do this to me? Is it because you're jealous? And you die, and we run, did think. we fuck up? We fucked up. We have to go. We have to go. You guys know the plan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Incredible. You die. Um. <laughs> like I was wondering like where you were thinking of getting your next tattoo. Because I'm thinking of getting a tattoo, so I'm like curious like what part of your body you've been thinking of tattooing next. I've got like a bunch of ideas. I think there's some like forearm stuff, you know, maybe like an arrow or maybe a clock to remind me that you know. <laughs> to remind you of what? What time you know, it is? Because like... it won't change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I want to submit one design that I think fits Ghost Step as a concept. Okay. Th that I, that I, because I will be happy to do uh, the wildflower clock. But mm -hmm. think about this for Ghost Step, mm -hmm. and it's a drawing of a Pac-Man ghost with big hairy human feet under it. <laughs> um, I send it to Fabian, being like, "What would you think?" Like, if I got this, would you think it was cool? Like, would you ever get a tattoo like this? Uh, I'm gonna heart it. Uh... <laughs> Got that time. Wild! <laughs> Is it significant to you in some way? Is like ghost feet kind of a thing? Yeah, it's like an inside joke with us, the bad kids. Really? <laughs> Remind me. I, I think I forgot this one. We have so many. I heart it. <laughs> He's wearing a scarf, right? Yeah, Jace? Yeah, Why is Jace wearing a scarf? It's so fucking hot. Okay, I'll try to see if I can organically engineer, maybe like invite him to dance. How do I get that scarf off him? Wait, why? He's gonna kill you if you okay, if he good sees point, you looking good point, for good point, it. Yeah, Jabon, I'm worried about you. I Can we go clean up the tea? I've been drinking a lot of tea. Yeah, all right. I've been kind of plowing through tea. I'll be 100% honest with you. My first plan was me and you are walking and talking, and British Kristen goes into your office and steals all the addresses. <laughs> Who is Brit? Oh, Turn I remember around. British Kristen, and then, yeah. And then British Kristen's at the end of the hall. Did y'all ever find out who it was that tried to kill Lydia? We think that it was Kalina. Kalina wasn't physical enough to actually hurt anybody outside of the Nightmare King forest. It's an older woman with like incredibly like wildly overdone makeup, huge like blonde beehive hair, who's got a great sword on her back and like a white pencil skirt and white blazer. <sighs> you can't find, you can't find him. We know that he died, but now we can't locate his soul in the blessed afterlife. It's because he chose a new deity. The room goes silent. This is going to sound weird, Bobby, but if you want my help, you're going to have to show me about halfway down your chest, like as if you were wearing a deep V-neck. <laughs> and you have five seconds to make that choice. <laughs> five, four. He takes it and shows you some uh, a, a incredibly hirsute, platinum white, ch oh. hairy chest. No, it might be... It's, it's definitely a god that's been dead for a long time that only recently just came back. How do, a god, you mean Cassandra, your deity? It's her ex-wife, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I save her all four letters of the word wife. Ms. Applebee's, I see now that I have in fact been punked. No, no, no. This is the corrupted, unhealed version of this god. This isn't the, the actual god. Who's the actual god? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> just looking, just looking at Murph. Just looking. Murph is fucking what? going. What am I missing? Murph's fucking Message going me, I, through it. Message you see, British Kristen. Yeah, if there is any information you can give me about the god that has corrupted my grandson. I'm a very prodigious cleric, and I assure you I would be able to make use of it. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm sure. 
I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> That's all, Miss Applebee's? Yeah, because I got to go talk to my friend Murph. <laughs> 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 What's going on? Was he trying to get you to say the God's name? I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. I was scared. I think, yeah. In theory. I think he's. I think he's maybe putting on a show about. Yeah. Where is my grandson? Yes. 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 So. Oh, you might think also, so? We, let's I... also not say the name at all. It was a request during the night yorb thing. Um, for a change that basically happened to the bylaws, which was that um, there is no inaugural period. So. Once the results of the election are counted, whoever wins is president. So the new president wins on election night. Macy did that? Yes, and it looks like looking at the changes that were put in, um, Maisie, uh, that was based on a faculty request. Whoever becomes president now is the principal. They can use egg for it with all of us uh, having to attend yeah. graduation and yeah. do something that charges like the place and like yeah. fucking, Is I don't know. Is in the middle of town? Oh, just about, right. okay. just about, it's pretty close. Okay. Um, you know, like you find like new people and they like have all this different stuff and you look at them and you're like, wow, they're just like that. And it's so weird, but they're like fine and they're like friendly yeah. and it's like, that's so... You know, they're so different. And that is how... That's that, that's that alarm system that might, that might be wrong. I think um, you have like a very courageous choice to make and and it's to decide if mom and dad know your life better than you do. You feel uh, the shards of twilight glowing in your pocket. So many untread roads and all so beautiful. I am trapped. The king will come again to spire Kristen. Where are you trapped? How can I help you? Where? How do I stop the king? My bride's fiery hand grasps mine in death, and I must shield her from the destruction that will come. But I cannot do it as myself. Know this, my champion. My bride has a champion as well. Who, do, can you give me a name or a location or? You know her already. Know this, Kristen Applebee's. My shadow, my familiar would not have said something with no meaning behind it. Um, and you see that uh, she vanishes. The rat grinders were brought here and a massive giant was out here slaughtering deadly monsters. <laughs> I put on my mask of animal food. <laughs> Bunch of little rats run in. <laughs> I can't comprehend languages. Hi! Do we have any... Fucking disgusting. <laughs> Big scary monsters. Uh, he would uh, sm smash them up, smash them up, and kill them and cut them and you know uh, do all kinds of stuff. And then he would call up a kid and say, "Stab it in the head." So that they'd get the XP <laughs> way for the way, killing blow, like that final blow. So they weren't killing rats. They were killing high-level monsters. But like not really. Can I ask uh, you a question about the rat city? Mm-hmm. Rat world? <laughs> yes, rat world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you use for rat money? Rat dollars. Bye-bye. <laughs> you look up and see the meteor shower begins. As a meteor shower starts, it begins to spell in words across the sky. My darling paramour, my infernal flame, my figaroth. I sent these meteors to you from the dawn of time when a rogue asteroid almost hit my dad's jet ski. <laughs> Sundering the space rock with but a gesture of my most potent art, the debris surrounded me, and with it came the sorrow of your absence. I sent these rocky chunks across the galaxy, and they have traveled since the beginning of time to tell you that I love you. In each moment of our mutual ignorance, where we had yet to meet, this message was already spinning its way to you through time and space to illuminate the night sky 
to tell you that I love you. Us, our love, like time, has been inevitable and strange. I have walked in its shadow joyfully. It gives me peace to know that in my darkest moments, my love for you was already on its way, flying through the stars. We have been on our way to save us since before the lights of our world were first lit. Pretty cool, my darling paramour. P.S. I know you have another year of school after this, but I hope one day soon you and I might travel amongst these stars together. XOXO, Ida Eggfort. P.S. You are not gonna believe how much my dad spent on this jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> if you chose another path, there would be a time soon to choose one mm -hmm. where, where it would not disadvantage any of your loved ones and you could do what your heart desired. Yeah. Yeah, um, um, I've been thinking of that. And I will, I appreciate the vote of confidence.